Hey guys, Happy Horse Ralph here. So today is just kind of a maintenance day on my boat. I was going to take it out to the lake, but it got kind of windy and started drizzling and it's all really overcast right now. So I decided to hold back and, and instead what I'm doing is I'm flushing out the motor with some clean water. From the last time I took it out on the lake, I didn't do it. So I'm going to let it run for about 10 or 15 minutes, as you can see. But what I did do uh, this morning is I installed, so that I can show you here. these okay. some boat bunk guides now for those of you that are seasoned boaters and you've been doing this a while you may not have any trouble trailering your boat or as far as launching it and retrieving it especially but i'm a new boater and this is my first boat brand new boat and so uh, i noticed that the last time uh, when i took it out to the lake uh, i couldn't even see i guess we backed up the trailer too far in the water and I couldn't see the bunks. And so I was able to, to get it on there because I just kind of used the tailgate of my truck as a guide and I was able to, to launch it on the first time and to retrieve it on the first time. But I thought these bunk guides would help. So, you know, if you're, uh, like I said, a seasoned boater, you might be thinking, well, you don't really need those. That's probably true. I elected to go with the short ones. I got them from CE Smith and I just installed them this morning. They were really easy to install. I'm not going to do a video on an installation video because there's already several of them on YouTube. Uh, but I will tell you, you know, on, on my usual difficulty scale of one to four, it was about a one, maybe one and a half. You do need a 9 16th deep socket. I didn't have one. I did have a 9 16th, but it wasn't deep. And so that gave me some trouble because the screws were longer. You know, I could have cut the screws. I could have just gone and bought some shorter screws. But I elected to just use those and use an open-ended wrench and that worked. I will show you one thing that I did different. So the instructions say you can go, when you mount it, you can go either way. You can put this on top or on bottom. If you put it on top, then these are gonna go facing this way up. And I was afraid of, you know, I know the, bo the boat is on a bunk. You can hear the wind right now, by the way, it's pretty windy. Um, but uh, I just didn't want to take any chances on these facing up. Again, I could have cut them. I could have used, just bought some shorter ones. But I decided to just put this in this way. And I just feel it's a, it's a cleaner look, especially from up here. And I don't have to worry about the boat ever coming into contact with these screws. And um, I like them. Uh, we'll see how they work the first time I take it out and try them, but um, I think it's going to work out fine. Like I said, on a difficulty scale, one to one, one, let's say 1.5, only because I didn't have the 916 socket, the deep socket. If you have that, then I'll knock it back to probably a one on the difficulty scale. Really simple to install. It took me probably longer than it should have. I said a good 45 minutes to an hour because I was using an open-end wrench. But other than that, very, very simple to install. I like the way they look. I think we're going to be okay. Abby Horse Ralph here. We'll see you on the next project. Thanks.